G Tech. G for genius. Welcome to Frappe Framework and ERP Next tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install ERP Next 14 version. Here I have uh, documented all necessary commands required for installation of ERP Next. You need to run this command through SSH or terminal window. This procedure has been tested on Oracle Cloud. You should use latest version of Open to operating system. In Oracle Cloud, the default users are root and Ubuntu, so you need to set password for both users. Because in Oracle Cloud, Linux installation comes with SSH key-based authentication, so there is no default password for users. This installation procedure has been divided into two parts. First is development setup and second is production setup. Development setup is common for both cases. We need to run some additional commands to convert a development setup into a production setup. First, update and upgrade your server to a latest version. Record development tools like uh, Git, Python, Redis, PDF Converter need to be installed. You need to open necessary ports in Firewall. Beside Firewall in Oracle Cloud, you may need to open those ports in IP tables also. I think you already know ERPNX uses MariaDB as a database, so you have to install it and secure it with a password. Set password for MariaDB root user and then open etcmysqlmy.com file. Add following lines into the my.com file and save and exit. Modify Ubuntu user permission. After that, install Node.js and npm. Create a bench directory, same as I did. Otherwise, you have to modify upcoming commands. Now you are fully ready to install Frappe bench do it by running following commands. After initialization, go to the Prafe folder and start bands with bands start command and keep it running. It is very important. Keep it running. Open another terminal window, go to the Prafe folder and create new site. You have to give an admin password for the site. Install ERF next and other apps. You have to install Payments app to install ERP Next. It is a must. You have to make sure Bench is running in other terminal. Now you will be able to browse your site using your server IP colon port 8000. Now we are in second part of our installation procedure. In this part, I will show you how to convert your development server into a production server. In production server, you do not need to start bench start command every time. Your application and site will be ready to use whenever you start the Ubuntu server. This is the end of installation procedure. After switching to production mode, you will be able to access your site and application through your IP address or domain name without using any port number. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon to get notification of next video.